Welcome to the final wager for the concluding match in this year's college championship. And an unusual one for me tonight because I haven't seen what actually happened. So we'll do the calculations first, then I'll watch. Got a DVR. Kevin made a very uh, excellent daily double wager, wagering everything, trying to get himself back in contention. Didn't work out. I don't know why Alex didn't dismiss him yet. I guess he maybe gets to play final. We'll see. So look at Tucker and Terry. And as you might recall, yesterday we figured out that if Tucker wanted the lead going into final, he had to have at least 2,500 more than Terry. He does not. He only has 200 more. So we know that Terry's in the lead. Let's see what Tucker can have at most. The most he can have today is 20, 26,400. If we add that to yesterday's total, he's going to have a total of 41,200. So for Terry to beat him, she's going to have to have at least 41,201. We'll subtract here, so that means today she's going to have to have a total of 401, 21,401. So that means her wager will have to be uh, 8401. Okay. So I don't really have that much space. I guess I will grab a different colored marker. I'll just write 8401 over here. Lots of writing here. If she gets it wrong with that wager, she's going to be left with uh, 4599. We'll call it 4600 for simplicity. Add that to yesterday's total, and she will have 24,400. 24,399. So in order to beat that, Tucker will need to have at least 9,600 today. So that means he can wager up to 3,600. I'll put that over here. Okay, now I'm going to look at alternative wagers because in a two day format, it's always possible. Tucker wagers at 3,600 which is the maximum that he can wager rationally against a rational wager by Terry. He will have a total of 16,800 today, giving him a two-day total of 31,600. Terry would need to have 11,801, and that's interesting because she has 13,000. So. She can just wager nothing if she really wants to, or she can wager up to eleven ninety nine. Now, if she doesn't feel confident about the category, and I can't even remember what it was, then maybe she sticks with that. Okay. So, um, oh, and the other thing that Tucker could then do is, if she, if he's afraid of that, well, that. 1,200 to Terry's score, give her 14,200, minus 1, 14,199, and that will give her a total of 34,000, That means Tucker would have to wager... Now, can you imagine doing this on stage with lots of people watching and lots of money and a trophy and a birth to the Tournament of Champions on the line. This is easy for me because I'm in my bedroom and I already have a trophy, so. 19,200 and that means he would have to wager at least 6,000. So, small wager, big wager, now I'm going to watch and see what happens. Eek. Not sure what that was out of Terry. I don't know if she knew she had the lead, but it worked out for her. And she's got one of these, and yes, Terry. It is pretty heavy. Could use a good dusting once in a while too. 
that's it for this college championship. I've milked this enough. Can anyone name our defending champion from regular play? No? No one? Okay. Well, you're in for a treat on Monday, I'm sure. We'll see you then on the final wager. Have a great weekend.